13 of the most innovative schools you'll want to attend. Number 13. The Mokoko Floating School in Lagos, Nigeria In order to combat the constant rise of floodwaters that plague the people in the neighborhoods of Mokoko, an architecture firm named NLE, the Heinrich Ball Foundation, combined with aid from the United Nations, created this three-story high school building that floats on water. The school building is 1,000 square feet and includes a play area, an upper deck, compost toilets, and several classrooms. The school can hold up to 100 students at a time. Number 12. Carpe Diem Schools in Aiken, Ohio There is a school that takes its course and teaches them to its students via computer. The Carpe Diem schools look more like an office than a classroom, but trust us, it's a good thing. The main room you see here is called the Learning Center. Its 300 cubicles allow its students to focus and concentrate on the lesson instead of the events going on around them in a traditional classroom. The school says that the layout allows the school to provide the necessary flexibility to foster growth and ensure the success of each and every student that passes through their doors. Number 11. The Steve Jobs School in Amsterdam, the Netherlands When Maurice de Haan founded the Steve Jobs School, he wanted to create a learning environment that allowed the students to learn at his or her own pace, instead of just corralling them through the same lessons of the same education system. At this school, each student begins with an individual development plan that is customized to suit each child's needs. Every six weeks, the plan is evaluated and readjusted by not only the teacher, who they call coaches, but the students and their parents as well. Number 10. The Egalia Preschool in Stockholm, Sweden What makes the Egalia Preschool an innovative education center is their rejection of gender discrimination throughout the education system. The best part is that the school doesn't stop at gender discrimination, it fights discrimination against sexual orientation, race, ethnicity, disability, religion, age, class, and gender expression. Instead of calling each other he or she, the students either call each other by their first names or use the collective word they. They feel like education should be about learning, not forcing young children to identify with a certain gender. This tactic also also reduces peer-to-peer -peer harassment and allows every child to feel welcome and involved without worry. Number 9. Big Picture Learning in Providence, Rhode Island The creators of the Big Picture Learning School wanted students to learn something that much of us didn't get until after we graduated, and that's learning the big picture of life. This school gives students the opportunity to experience the real working world by allowing them to pursue the career they've been dreaming of. The programs range from fixing cars or aircrafts to becoming a lawyer with everything in between. During their education, a student is paired with a real-life mentor that has had experience that the student desires, which helps to develop their skills in their area of interest. Number 8. Clintondale High School in Detroit, Michigan Clintondale High School was the pioneer on the path that flipped the classroom model being implemented at the K-12 levels of education. Under the leadership of Greg Green, along with the help from the software company TechSmith, Clintondale was able to turn the standard learning model completely upside down. What began with a 9th grade class soon expanded to encompass the entire school. The new system had students watching their teachers' lesson plans at home, and then pairing up with their teachers during class to complete class assignments and homework. When the students came to school to complete their homework, they were given a free meal and access to technology along with an overwhelming amount of support and expertise. Number 7. Alt School in San Francisco, California Also known as the School of Silicon Valley, the Alt School has a completely different school format than what you were used to growing up. After hearing the fun stuff these kids get to do, I'm really disappointed at the education I got at a traditional facility. These kids learn unique skills by turning everyday things into circuit boards and learning 3D modeling so they can build their own playhouses. How cool is that? This school wants nothing to do with the old traditional education and standardized testing, so they have thrown out the old and opted for a model that improves technology skills and gets the next generation thinking flexibly so they can adapt with the world as it changes. Number 6. Visitacion Valley Middle School in San Francisco, California The Visitacion Valley Middle School is innovative for two major reasons, their implementation of quiet time as well as their extensive list of support services for the students, most of which are located within the Wellness Center. In 2007, Principal Jim Dirk implemented two 15-minute breaks, one at the beginning and one at the end of the school day. That, coupled with a comprehensive care given to students in the Wellness Center, gives the students a great deal of much-needed support. Since Dirk explained that most of the students that attend Visitacion have a family connection to someone who has seen a shooting, shot someone, or had been shot. The Wellness Center provides support through its programs like individual therapy, family case management, mentorship programs, and different support groups that cater to the specific groups such as an all-girls and survivors of trauma. Number 5. The Zoo School in Grand Rapids, Michigan What would be better than to go to a zoo to learn? The Zoo School in Grand Rapids accepts 66th grade learners each year for a year-long learning experience that the students will surely write home about. In addition to the state-required 6th grade curriculum, students feed the zoo animals, raise salmon, sample water, and go on camping trips. Students also take classes in forestry, zoology, astronomy, chemistry, and physics. At the end of the year, each student is required to present an individual project which encourages them to hone their research and presentation skills throughout the year. If that doesn't make you want to go back to school, I'm not sure what will.
Number 4. Harvey Milk High School in New York, New York Harvey Milk High School was founded in 2003 by the Hetrick Martin Institute, which is a social services organization created to foster and support at-risk LGBTQ youth. The school teaches things like health, specifically HIV-related, education, and job readiness training. The school surrounds the youth with positive and understanding teachers, and while adhering to the state's educational standards, incorporates an LGBTQ perspective into the curriculum. In 2013, the National Climate Survey gave results that stated over 55% of LGBTQ youth reported feeling unsafe at school because of how they were judged for their sexual orientation. This school is looking to change that. The students here enjoy the environment so much that the school had to create an aging out policy that required learners to move on once they turned 21. Number 3. P-TECH High School in Brooklyn, New York P-TECH High School is one that takes learning to a whole new level of education. I'm talking a six-year degree. P-TECH was launched by IBM in 2011 in order to give teens living in New York an alternate way into college that avoided the usual four-year high school track. High school and college are combined, and the student completes six years of classes. Boosted by mentorship and internships in science, technology, engineering, or math fields, the fifth and sixth-year students earn an associate's degree from the New York City College of Technology nearby. That's a pretty sweet deal. Number 2. The Avenues World School in New York, New York This innovative school aims to prepare children for the global challenges and opportunities students will face in the 21st century. The school has an immersive bilingual program that pairs the standard English found in all American schools with either Mandarin Chinese or Spanish. The Avenue, located in New York, is the first of its kind, but its creators hope to eventually establish at least 20 other interconnecting campuses around the world. Each campus would teach the same curriculum as the next, so that a student learning in London could transfer to Buenos Aires and continue with their education the following semester. Number 1. The Orstad Gymnasium in Copenhagen, Denmark The Orstad Gymnasium is a series of four boomerang-shaped story decks inside of a giant glass cube. In 2007, the event was attended by Crown Princess Victoria of Sweden. And since then, the Orstad Gymnasium has been one of the most sought gymnasiums in all of Denmark and much of the world. This innovative school is completely free of traditional classrooms. Instead, there are four study zones that occupy the space. For its design, the building won the Forum 8 Award in 2009 and was nominated for the Mies van der Rohe Award. With the tall central atrium and a rooftop terrace, this sure is a sweet place to study. 